Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm just uh, doing a slight inspection of my clutch, my dry clutch, the BDL dry clutch. Um, this is the kit here. I'm just gonna do a quick cleaning of some of the. I'm just gonna inspect them, clean some of the, clean the pack up a little bit, and uh, put them back in while I wait for some parts to come in. Let's get to it. First plate. Sometimes the stuff gets a little gummy in here. If you get just gonna clean it up nice. Inspecting the plate too, I'm looking for some rough or kind of grooves in this. I don't see any grooves, everything is this is pretty smooth on both sides. Yeah, this is pretty good. I don't see any jagged edges either. Everything's sharp. Who else loves the sound of an open primary? Oh man. This sound is orgasmic. Um, also what I'm using to clean these is, I'm just using some uh, isopropyl alcohol. I think it's like 95% alcohol. Um, what a specific, specific mic says, <laughs> I'd like to use the stuff that doesn't hurt anybody, so. Alcohol does not hurt anybody. You can use brake cleaner also, but I have some of that here in the shop too, but I just, the stuff is expensive, so I just use this. Alcohol is cheap and environmentally safe, I think. Yeah. Towards the outside, you'll see it's gonna get a little more dustier. Always in the clutch. Sandwich the steels. Let's 
rule number one, sandwich the steels. Steels are always in the middle. Don't ever leave any steel plates on the outside. That does nothing for you. or one more friction plate. Now I'm not going to put the whole clutch assembly together because I have it sitting right here. I'm waiting for uh, I'm waiting for some parts. I'm actually replacing these springs that are all rusted up. I'm getting some chrome ones. And I'm replacing this also, this plate here, so for a chrome one, and I'm replacing the pressure plate with a BDL aluminum one. It's a little bit shinier than this one. this for now leave it that way we'll come back to it <laughs> 